Today is my birthday. 30 years ago today, my mum gave birth to me. This is a machine that simulates the pain of childbirth. Georgina is going to hook me up to it for the same length of time that it took my mum to give birth. Let's do it. But this was going to be childbirth like none other. This is the story of fake babies, <sighs> fake parents, you're throwing your life away, son. Insane personal trainers. They fucking look rubbed, you YouTube <laughs> motherfucker. And very real pain. So there's a company in Bristol that has a labour pain simulator. The longest anyone has ever done it is 10 minutes. I want to do it for five and a half hours in honour of my mum, who took that long to give birth to me. Thanks, mum. In order to make this experience as realistic as possible, though, I need to learn about childbirth. So I booked myself in for an antenatal class. It looks fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> the course was full of great tips to help me prepare. And you always have to ask your permission to do a vaginal examination, by the way. They don't just do them randomly. I learned how to breathe properly during contractions and how to relax in between them. Are you comfortable there now? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. More and comfortable there. Can you move your hips? Because movement is quite nice. Move my hips. Just move your hips. How does it look? It looks good, yeah? <laughs> Um, you enjoy it? <laughs> Finally, it was time for the trial run of giving birth. Yes. Oh, how is she going? Okay, stop, pause. Oh, looks just like me. <laughs> <laughs> giving birth to that baby doll was special, but it feels like there was something missing. When people usually go through childbirth, they have friends and family around for emotional support, and that's exactly what I needed. I want my parents to be there. I think it's a bad idea, and I don't think it's unsafe. To be honest, Niall, I, I just think there's better things you could be doing with your time. Don't you think it's time you went and got a proper job? It's quite important at this stage of life that so you... So it turns out my parents are busy. I need to find a solution to this. I'm going to get actors to play my parents. So I posted on a local Facebook group and arranged auditions, testing my wannabe parents out in a variety of scenarios. First up, I asked Nathan to react to the news that I'd left my job to become a YouTuber. You're screwing your life up. You're throwing your life away, son. He sounded just like my dad, unlike Andy. I hit the community. How do we have that? Who unfortunately I couldn't understand. I wanted to make sure that these actors were able to handle the emotional range required for my big day. So I asked Shanaz to break some bad news. So dad's fallen in love with this plant pot. Hmm. You're going to have a divorce. Hmm. How would you tell me? Uh, me and your dad are going to have divorce. And uh, why? Because, because he fell in love with this plant. Listen, you silly plant. Why are you taking my husband away from me? I'm fed up of you. I felt loved by these strangers, but unfortunately, I had to pick between them. So I devised an experiment to test their love for me. Any real parent would do anything to defend their child from danger. Unbeknownst to my auditioning parents, I hired an actor to play the role of a gunman who would break into the audition and threaten to kill me. The test? Would they take a bullet for me? You're going to play the role of Hagrid. You're a wizard, Harry. Ah! Non-stop, Niall! Geronimo, Joe, it can't be you! What? What the fuck is that? I'm here to avenge what? my brother. What's going on? Prepare yeah. to die! No! <laughs> to my shock, four out of the five auditionees laid their lives on the line to protect me. No! no. He's my boy! He's my boy! Leaving just one. Yep, whenever. Okay. Hmm. You are a wizard, Harry. Ah, oh. Come on, stop, Niall! Geronimo, Joe, it can't be! Harry, you are a wizard. Please don't do it! No, please! Die. I'm about to pull the trigger! I can see that and I feel... I feel scared about... He's gonna kill me. Nothing and no one can save you. There is someone who can save me. I'm sure there is. Nobody's coming for you! I don't... Is that true? Ah! Oh. Your only son slain. So that that was just a quick test. Okay. Because we uh, don't know when yeah. a gunman might appear. Okay. So it yeah. might be too late by the time okay. you know. So that was just a test. After careful consideration, I chose my parents. Nathan, 
and Shanaz. Although Shanaz hadn't saved me from the gunman, her indifference did remind me of my own mum. The next day, while my parents met for the first time in the waiting room, I was being hooked up to the machine. Hi! Meet Georgina. She'd be controlling the labour pain simulator. So we need you to fill in the cassette form, um, just so that you don't seriously care about the Perfect! The simulator would start from small niggling contractions and build in intensity, just like real childbirth. This is suddenly becoming much more real. Turn it on. Turn it on. Let's do it. I've done my first. I've done my first contraction. At this point in time, <laughs> it's it's less scary. I know that there's a lot worse coming though. And there was. Meanwhile, outside in the waiting room. Oh right. Um. And yeah. any any acting jobs recently? Yeah. Last I did uh, Paddington. Paddington. Not the film. Oh, that sounds exciting. Yeah. What What were you What were you playing in that? I was Paddington in costume. Oh. You... <laughs> yeah. Okay. Things were awkward, but I needed my fake parents to buy into the fake emotional stakes of the birth of my fake baby. And so to ease things along, I decided to find a fake girlfriend. So my name's Georgia, I'm 26 and I'm from Worcester. I'm a freelance model. Basically my normal type, I would say, is tall and muscly. Like, I love muscles. So for example... I could tell from the auditions that my parents were going to love her. Oh God, who is this? This is an example of what isn't my type. My parents needed to believe that Georgia was my real girlfriend, so that they would bond and provide the emotional pillar I needed for my childbirth. So I gave Georgia a full character profile to help her play the part, by telling her that she was my girlfriend and that she liked running. In retrospect, I'm not sure that was enough detail. Um, what do you do, Georgia? Um, so, I'm a runner. I just run. I like running. Well, what do you do for work or study um... or...? He mainly runs quite a lot. Yeah, I like Britain. Knowing that my parents and girlfriend would be sat outside in the waiting room for five and a half hours really gave me the support I needed to see this childbirth through. Oh God! One hour in and the machine was increasing in intensity. Thankfully, I remembered some advice from the antenatal class. So what you want to think about is what can you do to make your home environment feel safe? So think about duvets, candles. Struggling to relax doing yoga. I decided to try nature's most relaxing noise. Oh God, that's so bad. Whale song. Getting a real whale would be costly. So I rang up Geronimo Joe and asked if he could do a convincing whale impression. He replied with this. <sighs> Joined by two interpretive dancers, Geronimo tried his best to create an underwater sanctuary, but the pain was only getting worse. In agony, I had no other choice. Bring my parents in, please. It's for the way relaxation starts. So it turns out that as well as being an actor, my dad practices hypnotherapy. And as the contractions got stronger and more frequent, my dad offered to put me to sleep. Zero sleep now. <laughs> Unfortunately, it didn't really work. And my legs were starting to spasm. I'm getting hip cramp. Oh, I'm actually getting hip cramp. Oh, that's really painful. But don't worry, Dad. In order to make this process safe, I hired a doctor. Oh, no. Sadly, a real doctor proved too expensive, so I asked Geronimo Joe to play a doctor. yippee ki motherfucker! He informed me that he knew no medical terminology, but he had recently memorised the 50 most famous movie quotes of all time and could improvise using them. Everything okay. like light touches, Simba, will one day be yours. Did you put your name in the goblet of fire, Harry? Did you? Which only left my dad more anxious and confused. What do you make of the doctor? He's mad! <laughs> what? The pain is uh, pretty intense, not gonna lie, but Georgina has just informed me 
but there's another level. The back pads are about to go on. I so far only had to deal with the abs. <laughs> if I was going to get through the next couple of hours, I would need some extra help. So I called in Kyle, a trainer and personal motivator. Come on, work, motherfucker. Come on. Come on, Lennigan. Come on. That's it. Fight it, fight it, fight it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Fucking little abs, you YouTube motherfucker. Come on. 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 Everyone seemed to be pulling their weights in helping me through this childbirth. <laughs> and God knows I needed it. Otherwise the 10 person choir waiting outside would have no one to perform to. In this final moment of serenity, as the contractions hit their hardest, Georgina informed me that I was only minutes from birth. And now finally, I could appreciate exactly what my mum experienced during birth. Except, I don't think she had a personal motivator in a 10 person choir. Which, in my opinion, was a missed opportunity. <laughs> that was really good. Maybe they could employ us in maternity. Yeah. Sorry, can you now? <laughs> Where we're going, we don't need roads. One last big push. <laughs> Show me the money! <laughs> That'll do, bitch! That'll do! That's <laughs> exactly how I imagined. So now you might need to uh, deliver the placenta. <laughs> oh, you bastard! There we go! Oh, we're done! Oh. We're done! Let's bring in mum and dad. Oh my god. This young man's got a big future ahead of him. The likeness to all of us, actually. Not just me. To all three of us is, is amazing. <laughs>